Hey everybody, Eagle Run 23 here. Welcome to 8.6 Blackout Reloading. We're gonna go over basically everything I know about 8.6 Blackout Reloading. Uh, I've got quite a bit to tell you, quite a bit to show you. Hopefully we can make some sense of this for you along the way. Now, I am certainly not a reloading expert, and the interesting thing is, is that I actually kind of learned to reload on 8.6 Blackout. It's not really advisable, um, but I did it and you could probably do it too. So let's start with the very beginning on what actually needs to happen, how you do it, and what the results of that could be. This is a 6.5 Creedmoor case, got this in from Starline Brass, and the plan is to take a piece of 6.5 Creedmoor and turn it into something that will accept a much larger heavier projectile. In order to do that, you can see we have to accomplish a couple of different things. Number one, hole's too small, so we gotta make it bigger. And uh, number two, the case is too long, so we gotta make it shorter. And number three, the shoulder is going to be pushed back and we're going to have to make a neck out of the shoulder of this brass. Now, in general, People have been doing this for a very long time. The 300 blackout is essentially the exact same thing where you take a 5.56 and you punch it out and you stuff a 30 caliber bullet in it. We're doing the exact same thing here. We're taking a 308.65 Creedmoor case, punching it out and putting in a larger 338 bullet. Given that this has all just been kind of made up over the last couple of years, um, I didn't have a ton of experience in reloading in general. And so I had to lean on some other things and uh, figure out some things on my own. And I figured out pretty quickly that uh, cutting down the cases with a, with a case trimmer was not gonna be the way to go. So I got this from Harbor Freight and I got myself a little 3D printed jig um, over on Etsy. Now this jig allows you to put in a 6.5 Creedmoor case and it has a little ball detent in it that allows you to index and line this up so that you can chop the case pretty close to your final dimension. And then when you're done, you take the next case and you pop it through and you're ready to go again. After your case is chopped down, I decided to punch it out to the larger. This is where you get a 308 a set of dies and you punch it out to 308 and then you get your 8.6 blackout dry dies and you punch it out again to 338. And all of that's well and good, except that you made a neck out of a case wall and a shoulder. So the thickness of the brass there is substantial. And if you don't do something about it, when you stick this bullet in there, it's going to push that out enough that these cases won't chamber reliably or at all uh, when you go to load it. So you're gonna have all this prep done, powder, primer, bullet in there. You're gonna go put it in your chamber and it's not gonna go in. And that's because the necks have to be turned if you're making your own cases. You can probably see on here that there's some lines on there. Uh, that is because this was fit into a neck turner and I essentially lathe turned by hand the neck down. It removes enough brass and you gotta get that down so the thickness allows for the bullet to go in and still hold the bullet firmly and yet still be able to chamber. Now there's been a lot of discussion about this and a lot of people saying, hey, if you use the Hornady, it's not as thick a brass and you may not have to turn the necks. In my experience, you pretty much had to turn the neck of everything. These are two cases that I made and I believe they are once fired and you can see that the necks were turned there and this was made out of Starline brass. I have tried uh, Starline, s and Hornady, um, Federal, uh, Agia, all, I've tried all the different manufacturers. They're pretty much all the same, and you're gonna have to be, con if you wanna be consistent, you're gonna have to turn the next down. Uh, it's a little bit easier to turn some of them other than other ones, but in general, you gotta turn next. So that's been well and good for a long time, and then we started to see manufactured ammo come on the market. Gorilla, Discreet Ballistics, uh, Callaway. These guys were all putting out cases and they were going about it a couple of different ways. The 
guys over at um, Gorilla, they were using this Q head stamped brass. And that Q on there is from the original set of Hornady brass that Q um, had made in support of testing of this new caliber that he came out with. Uh, these are pretty valuable and rare, I would say. Um, there's probably a specific number of them. I messed up a bunch of them just tuning my guns, and I'm probably going to try to save a handful of them just so I can continue to tell this story. Um, and then guys like, uh, and Discreet also had some Q brass as well. And then guys like Callaway, they decided that they could chop Hornady brass and uh, inside neck turn, because they have some different tools that within what we have as reloaders. Um, we do have access to inside neck turners as reloaders, but it's pretty costly and it's not very common. You're just not going to use it very much. Um, but the guys over at uh, Callaway were using Hornady 6.5 Creedmoor and they were able to make cases for their loaded ammunition product. I've shot several boxes of it and it works pretty well. Then the guys from Gorilla, they were able to get some of their own Gorilla head stamped brass. Uh, word is this is from Starline and apparently they're not going to make any more for us reloaders. So if you are able to get manufactured ammo, definitely save your cases. And even if you don't reload, save your cases because some reloader will probably buy them from you. Now enter current day. As of the making of this video, this factory, Verog Brass, is available to us reloaders. Very excited to have a fully processed, ready to prime powder and load um, factory quality brass that's ready to go. Now you can check this and you can still probably size it and all that stuff in your normal reloading process. Uh, but this is a game changer for us as reloaders. Now Gorilla does have some brass for sale on their website. If you wanna try some Gorilla brass, it's available. It does have the cool Gorilla 86 blackout head stamp. And the Verog brass has that little V at the top. That's how you know it's Verog. And it says 23, which is not for Eagle Run 23, although, you know. But uh, it says 8.6 BO for blackout. And you'll find this on some boutique manufacturers. So this stuff currently is from uh, Steinel has it. Fort Scott Munitions has it. Uh, Aiken Arms, big big friend of the channel, Aiken Arms, they're using Verog brass. Many more that are coming online very soon, and then maybe a couple other ones out there that I've missed. So as this Verog brass has become available in bulk to these ammo manufacturers, we're probably going to see quite a few manufacturers come online here over the next year, and that is all until Sammy Spec hits us. Once Sammy Spec hits the hits us, I feel like some of the big manufacturers might start reloading for this caliber, and that's good for us long term. Uh, could potentially drive prices down, make this a little bit more affordable for the average guy to get their hands on. Um, all good things. I don't view this as uh, this company or this company. I definitely view this as this caliber uh, long term. How does it succeed? And I think having some uh, affordable, relatively economically priced ammo on the market for hog hunters and deer hunters. Um, we haven't even seen all the things that this is capable of because it's still all relatively new. Even though I know you watching this, you may already have a blackout. You probably heard of it or you're probably building one right now. All right, we'll have to cut this video off right there, turn this into a part two. Uh, but you can see we're going to keep going here with a lot of other offerings, talking subsonic, supersonic, everything in between. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you stay tuned. And uh, we'll see you on part two of Reloading 8.6 Blackout.